Today's video is about life choices. In just a minute, I'm gonna pepper spray Tim over there. But before we do that, I need to let you know that we have a gun giveaway going on. It's happening right now and it ends really soon. All you need to do is click on the link in the description down below to figure out which brand new gun you could win. All right, life choices and pepper spray. We're gonna talk about the effects of pepper spray. We're gonna show you exactly what happens when someone gets pepper sprayed. And in this scenario, Tim is gonna be trying to take my wallet and I am gonna utilize my pepper spray and show you the effects of pepper spray and what you should be doing when you're dealing with pepper spray. So Tim, do you really want my wallet? Give me your wallet now. Come on, scenario Give me based your training. All right, that's a little bit better. Now I'm actually scared. Folks, when you're dealing with a situation like this, understand that yes, he's carrying an impact weapon and he's demanded my wallet. He hasn't yet threatened to kill me, so is deadly force justified? Maybe not at this point. Remember, deadly force, you may use deadly force against any action that has caused or imminently threatens to cause death or great bodily harm. And remember that the definition of deadly force is the intentional use of a firearm or other instrument the use of which would cause a high probability of death. So if he hasn't intentionally stated that he's going to kill me to get my wallet, then I can use pepper spray to overcome active resistance or its threat. Now those are the, the legal terminology surrounding pepper spray like that. So now the basics of what you're gonna do to use that pepper spray is you don't wanna let him get really close. So you wanna make sure that you have your pepper spray staged somewhere where you can get to it you can get to it quickly and you know how to deactivate the safety. On this civilian version pepper spray, the safety rotates to the side so that I can then spray the pepper spray. Now, the goal of what we're doing is to create enough dysfunction in Tim so that I can escape. After I spray him, I don't wanna start putting the boot to him or picking up his stick if he drops it or hitting it with him. I wanna just get out of there and immediately get off the X. Tim's gonna try to hit me with that stick and he's gonna hit where I'm standing because that's the last place that he saw me. So we understand how that stuff's gonna work. Let's take a look at this. Tim, you really want my wallet? Yeah, give me your wallet, hurry up. No, I'm not giving you my wallet. Now, no, hurry, no. Up, hurry up, Okay, hurry okay, up. okay, wait, wait. It's right here in my pocket, okay? Hurry up. I'll, I'll get it for hurry you, up. here you go. You still want to hit me with the stick, nope. Tim? <laughs> okay, so I had to move off the X. This is the potent effects of pepper spray right there. So he was going to beat me with the stick to take my wallet. I get off the X, I move to someplace safe, and I immediately call 911. Yeah. If he's been around the criminal justice system before, he might want to call 911 and say a guy pepper sprayed him for no reason. Tim, you still want my wallet? No. Nope. Okay, Tim doesn't want my wallet. Um, we're gonna get Tim cleaned up. Understand, folks, thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I wanna let you know again, we got the gun giveaway going on. It's absolutely free, but it ends really soon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at Tim over here. The gun giveaway going on. It's absolutely free and it ends really soon. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description down below. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of the video. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel. Click on that notification bell. We'll notify you every time we come out with something new. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.